My very dear friend, Detlaf van der Eretane, an arrival from Nazaire. We are lending our combined resources to the witch's hunt. Hi, in this video I'm showing you a quick painting time-lapse for this digital illustration of a vampire named Detlaf van der Eretane, who is one of the main characters from an expansion pack for the game The Witcher 3. Last Saturday I finished playing this game and to honor this moment I created this painting. This is just a simple time lapse, so I thought I would allow myself to have a bit of a talk about this and that to make the process video less boring. I play very few games these days, but I will always find time for a game with a nice aesthetic and slash or a good plotline. I am a sucker for a good fantasy story and I knew I would love the game because I am a big fan of the Witcher books. I chose to paint that laugh because oh, I fell in love with his visual design. Kinda elegant, like other higher vampires in the story, but also dangerous, mysterious, really well executed image. Excellent. It was a real pleasure to paint him, though I must admit I struggled a little bit with his face likeness. I'm not the biggest fan of most vampire concepts in books and movies. My ideal concept was the one in Bram Stoker's Dracula. I think the time period and setting from the book added a lot to the whole concept. And I honestly admit, the vampires in The Witcher, including Dead Laugh, they are great. I like their aesthetic and how they change into these animal-like creatures when they're in a battle. They're fast and deadly, also they behave. The way they behave is quite hypnotizing. I'm now finished with The Witcher and I have quite a hangover after this game. It featured two excellent stories, Hearts of Stone and Blood and Wine. That love was one of the final characters in Blood and Wine and it was such a beautiful story. It was very surprising, nothing looked like what it seemed to be at first. The best part is that this story about vampires is set in a sunny fable-like land with beautiful castle and brave knights in shiny armors. I have some sort of nostalgia now, because these stories were beautiful and I became quite attached to all the characters. It's exactly the same like with a good book. You can't move on, the story is over, but will you ever experience anything as good? I know I'm very slow at playing games. I started The Witcher 3 about five, five and a half months ago, so it easily became part of my everyday life. Um, all those hard choices you have to make in a game, they engage you in the story more and so it makes a greater impression on you. No wonder I have a game hangover now. <laughs> the Witcher game trilogy didn't disappoint me. It was full of beautiful characters and landscapes and now I feel like painting more because I'm super inspired. I hope you like this painting of that love. I'm quite pleased with it. Funny thing is that I want to paint more landscapes, but I always end up painting characters. But that's good, because I actually need to practice more on painting characters. Thanks for watching this video. Why not check out other time-lapse videos on my channel? I'll see you in another video. Bye bye.